doing, man? I'm good, thank you. Can I get forty hours of petrol? Forty hours, good. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, where can I find five kilometers of rice? Five kilometers. Cheers, Sam. Cheers, Nat. I'll see you in five liters. Five liters. Those measurements don't really make sense. But does how we measure people make sense? We measure people by the size of their bank accounts. By their clothing. Their cars. Their jobs. Worth is measured by what people own and earn. Nelson Mandela saw a different measure of worth. It wasn't about what people had on the outside. He saw the inside. He saw equal worth in every human being. He gave worth. As the Bombay Project, our dream is not just for every orphan and vulnerable child to know their worth, but for every South African to see the true worth in each other. And as we do, we discover the worth in ourselves. Why not change your vision? Let's see the worth in every person. Imagine if the whole of South Africa joined in. Imagine if the whole world joined in. And who knows, by changing the way we see others, we may change the way they see themselves. And so change the world for good. It, it starts, starts with, with me. me. It starts with 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 me. South Africa, let's see the true worth in others. It's worth it. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, where can I find five kilometers of rice? Five kilometers. Cheers, Sam. Cheers, Nat. I'll see you in five liters. Five liters? Those measurements don't really make sense. But does how we measure people make sense? We measure people by the size of their bank accounts, by their clothing, their cars. their jobs. Worth is measured by what people own and earn. Nelson Mandela saw a different measure of worth. It wasn't about what people had on the outside. He saw the inside. He saw equal worth in every human being. He gave worth. As the Bombay Project, our dream is not just for every orphan and vulnerable child to know their worth, 
but for every South African to see the true worth in each other. And as we do, we discover the worth in ourselves. Why not change your vision? Let's see the worth in every person. Imagine if the whole of South Africa joined in. Imagine if the whole world joined in. And who knows, by changing the way we see others, we may change the way they see themselves. And so change the world for good. It, it starts, starts with, with me. me. It starts with 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 me. South Africa, let's see the true worth in others. It's worth it. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Praise the Lord. Praise him, ye servants of the Lord. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be his name, now and forever. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High. Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Together. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us confess our sins, firmly resolved to keep God's commandments and to live in love and peace with our neighbour. Together. Almighty, Almighty God, God, our, our Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father in penitence we confess that we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, Christ our Lord, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us, pardon our sins and set us free from them, confirm and strengthen us in all goodness, and keep us in eternal life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We pray that we collect together. Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, you, you have, have broken the tyranny of sin and, and sent the Spirit, the Spirit of your Son into our, our hearts. hearts. Take and receive our freedom, and bring us into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verses 13 to 20. The divine name revealed. But Moses said to God, If I come to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your ancestors has sent me to you, and they ask me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? <coughs> God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said further, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this my title for all generations. Go and assemble the elders of Israel and say to them, The Lord, the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, has appeared to me, saying, I have given heed to you and to what has been done to you in Egypt. I declare that I will bring you up out of the misery of Egypt to the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites, a land flowing with milk and honey. I know, however, that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless compelled by a mighty hand. So I stretch out my hand and strike Egypt with all my wonders that I will perform in it. After that, he will let you go. Hear the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The appointed psalm for today is Psalm 105, verses 1 to 15. God's faithfulness to Israel. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell of all his wonderful works. Glory is his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles, and the judgments he has uttered. 
O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all of the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac which he confirmed to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying, to you I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account, and strangers in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another, he allowed no one to oppress them, he rebuked kings on their account, saying, Do not touch my anointed ones, do my promise no harm. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Listen to the good news proclaimed in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 11, verses 28 to 30. Glory, Glory to Christ, Christ our Savior. Savior. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise, Praise to, to Christ, Christ our, our Lord. Lord. We will say the Nicene Creed together. We, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. For us and for our salvation, 
He came down from heaven, was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was suffered under He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets, we believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Morning, everyone. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts glorify your name in this place today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In our Anglican prayer book on, on page 443, we read a little bit about what Christian hope is. It says, to live with confidence in newness and fullness of life and to await the coming of Christ in glory and the completion of God's purposes for the world. A friend of mine is a nurse in, 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 in an ICU that deals with COVID-19. He said, both staff and patients face danger every day. He asked, is it possible to experience hope in this current crisis and beyond? Another friend is a policeman in Komashu, and he's been dealing with all the trouble going on over the last few days. He also asked, can we have hope during these difficult times? My answer was, yes. So how can I be confident? How can I have such confidence in, in hope? The hope I have is my past experience and what I've been through with God's help. And it's all in scripture as well. Let's look at Hebrews 6 verse 13 to 19 where it says, When God made his promise to Abraham, since there was no one greater for him to swear by, he swore by himself, saying, I will surely bless you and give you many descendants. And so after waiting patiently, Abraham received what was promised. People swear by someone greater than themselves and the oath confirms that what is said and puts an end to all argument because God wanted to make the unchanging nature of his purpose very clear to the heirs of what was promised. He confirmed it with an oath. God did this so that by, by two unchangeable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we who have fled to take hold of the hope set before us may be greatly encouraged. We have this hope as an anchor for the soul, firm and secure. I just want to look at verse 19 now. We, we have this hope as an anchor for the soul, keeping us firm and secure. Boats and ships use anchors. They are vital for, for, for safe, safety, for security and storms. Hope is like an anchor to our soul, firm and secure. If we read Hebrews 8 verse, uh, from 18 to 19, 6, 18 to 19 in the message, it says, we who have run for our very lives to God have every reason to grab the promised hope with both hands and never let it go. It's an unbreakable spiritual lifeline. 
But you may say hope is intangible. So today I want to look at four intangible examples of anchors of hope. Firstly, the covenants of God as an anchor. This passage in Hebrews 6 speaks of God's promises, oaths and, the God, and, and, and of God's unchanging nature. Think about Abraham who believed God. He and Sarah had a very long way to see the results. Why? God wanted to show how the impossible can become the possible. In the middle of our feelings of confusion, chaos and insecurity, cling to God and His promises. Cling to His word daily. Cling to His unchanging nature. The troubles we are going through now with protests and the coronavirus are not just a medical or, or physical or society battle. It's spiritual, it's emotional, and it's psychological. We need to cling to God, and He will cling to us. Secondly, Jesus' cross is also an anchor. It reminds us that the price for our sins has been paid. The cross of Jesus provides a lot of hope and security, which is why people put them around their necks. It's an outer sign of inner hope. There's nothing that we need to do or earn to, to do to earn or deserve his salvation. He does everything. One thing we need to remember is that for an anchor to work, it must be joined to the ship with a strong change. So too, we need to be anchored in Jesus. Are you joined to Jesus? Do you have a strong chain of faith? If not, you maybe need to pray later, and, and well, you do need to pray later, and, and be joined to Jesus. There's nothing like a crisis to get the church going, is there? The church has the greatest reach and enjoys the highest confidence levels in South Africa. And is often, even now, it's, it's monitor, invited to, to monitor elections. Now the, 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 the churches and, and clergy and pastors are all being invited to monitor things in, 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 in going forward in this, this situation that we find ourselves in now. To make sure things are, are done right in recovery. In crisis, the greatest enemy is fear. But hope is stronger than fear. And we are a community of hope. How do we cast out fear? By caring, sharing, and supporting each other. Because God cares about us all. An example that came to mind when about caring and sharing was last year. I heard about during COVID-19 lockdown, All Souls and, and Kwakristu in Kosi launched a, a soup kitchen which, which became part of a, a, a larger community project which served people very efficiently. It, 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 hope crushes fear. Hope crushes the fear of feeding the family, of being ill and alone, of being unemployed, of, of having your, your business destroyed by, by looters. And that brings us to our next point. The commission of God as an anchor. There's no safer place than being inside God's will. Even if you die. Just before his ascension, Jesus said in Matthew 28, 19 and 20, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. This is hope. In Mark 16 verse 20 we read, Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere, and the Lord worked with them and confirmed his word by the signs that accompanied it. Hope is an intangible element. 
but the intangible is made tangible by firstly on the personal side the covenants of God his promises his word his unchanging character and on the community or communal side the community of Jesus the caring and sharing of God's people then the commission of Jesus the sharing of God's love in word and deed and with that drawing others into the embrace of Jesus I want to end off this morning with Romans, it's a verse from Romans 8, verse 35 to 39. Nothing, absolutely nothing, can separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are our God. We thank you for your son Jesus and what he did for us on the cross and as he, he, he was resurrected and ascended into heaven as he's seated at your right hand now. We thank you for your Holy Spirit and the comfort and the strength and the anointing that he brings to us in this world and this time. We pray for more of that anointing, more of that love, more of that blessing this morning so that we can go out and, and, and do our bit and serve our people and your people in the world to get over this current crisis. We pray for President Cyril Ramaphosa and his government to have to deal with all of this. We pray for the people that were used and manipulated to go out and, 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 and ransack things and, and do things that, 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 that weren't constructive or, 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 or building up for the country. We pray for the people that now have no food and no it's access to daily things like medicine and petrol because of all the destruction, Lord. We pray for the people that, that, again, that did this, that they are forgiven. We pray for your church in the week, weeks ahead as we learn to deal with what is going on around us. Give us strength, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We pray the prayer for Africa. God bless Africa. Guard her children. Guide her leaders. And give us peace for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. If you're at home, let's stand for the peace. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Peace, everyone. Kilometers of rice? Five kilometers. Cheers, Sam. Cheers, Nat. I'll see you in five liters. Five liters? Those measurements don't really make sense. But does how we measure people make sense? We measure people by the size of their bank accounts, by their clothing, their cars, their jobs. Worth is measured by what people own and earn. Nelson Mandela saw a different measure of worth. It wasn't about what people had on the outside. He saw the inside. He saw equal worth in every human being. He gave worth. As the Bombay Project, our dream is not just for every orphan and vulnerable child to know their worth, but for every South African to see the true worth in each other.
And as we do, we discover the worth in ourselves. Why not change your vision? Let's see the worth in every person. Imagine if the whole of South Africa joined in. Imagine if the whole world joined in. And who knows? By changing the way we see others, we may change the way they see themselves. And so change the world for good. It, it starts, starts with, with me. me. It starts with 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 me. South Africa, let's see the true worth in others. It's worth it. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. For us it becomes the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your, your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. For us it becomes the cup of salvation. Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts and lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks and praise to the Lord our God. It is right to give Him thanks and praise. 
We do need right to give our duty and our joy at all times and in all places to give you thanks and praise. Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. For He is your living Word. Through Him you have created all things from the beginning and formed us in your own image. You raised Him from the dead and exalted Him to your right hand on high. Through Him you have sent upon us your holy and life-giving Spirit. And now we give you thanks because in love you created us, in justice you condemned us, but in mercy you redeemed us. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. As we follow his example, accept our praise as Heavenly Father through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. As we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood. Who in the same night that he took, was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many. Do this in remembrance of me. And so we say together, Christ has died. Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember the, His offering of Himself made once for all upon the cross and proclaim His mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. As we look for His coming in glory, we celebrate with this bread and this cup one perfect sacrifice. Except through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise, and as we eat and drink these holy gifts in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him, and in him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever.
Thanks to the Lord for His greatness. His mercy endures forever. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for feeding us in His holy mysteries and for keep with the go back. You skipped another slide with the body and blood of Your Son, our Savior Jesus Christ, and for keeping us by Your grace in the body of Your Son, the company of all faithful people. Help us to persevere as living members of that holy fellowship and to grow in love and obedience according to your will through Jesus Christ our Lord. Who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Shall we say together, Father Almighty, we offer ourselves to you as a living sacrifice in Jesus Christ our Lord. Send us out into the world in the power of the Holy Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. So may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.
Excuse me, ma'am. Um, where can I find five kilometers of rice? Five kilometers? Cheers, Sam. Cheers, Nat. I'll see you in five liters. Five liters? Those measurements don't really make sense. But does how we measure people make sense? We measure people by the size of their bank accounts. By their clothing. Their cars. their jobs. Worth is measured by what people own and earn. Nelson Mandela saw a different measure of worth. It wasn't about what people had on the outside. He saw the inside. He saw equal worth in every human being. He gave worth. As the Bombay Project, our dream is not just for every orphan and vulnerable child to know their worth, but for every South African to see the true worth in each other. And as we do, we discover the worth in ourselves. Why not change your vision? Let's see the worth in every person. Imagine if the whole of South Africa joined in. Imagine if the whole world joined in. And who knows? By changing the way we see others, we may change the way they see themselves. And so change the world for good. It, it starts, starts with, with me. me. It starts with 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 me. South Africa, let's see the true worth in others. It's worth it. <laughs> 